Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel My Intuition. I am Dr. Prasad Putilam with uh, uh, my video classes on uh, research methodology and intellectual property rights 21 RMI 56 uh, for the fifth semester students of uh, Visheshra Technological University VTU Belgavi. This is the last video of this particular module. Okay, so the syllabus that I am covering uh, I highlighted here, this much portion I am covering in this particular class video and it covers the course outcome, it comes under the course outcome, course outcome number 4, understanding the copyright laws and subject matters of copyright and designs, the study material you can get from this particular textbook which I am referring and I made the uh, important points uh, that I am using to explain this uh, class for you. Okay, so infringement of copyright, transfer of copyright, license and assignment, license and consent, duration of a license, form and content, disputes in respect of license, types of licenses, exclusive and non-exclusive licenses, this much I am covering, covering that uh, made a framed a question uh, with uh, level 4 question I framed, okay, how to the legal concept, uh, concepts of copyright infringement, transfer of copyrights, licenses and disputes in respect of licenses interconnect with the framework of intellectual property and what implications do these connections have to uh, have for the protection of management of creative work. So the answer key is given here, uh, infringement of copyright, transfer of copyright, license and assignment, consent, duration of license, form and uh, content, any disputes and the types, two types. Okay, this one we have to elaborate now. Okay, so elaboration. Okay, so uh, the infringement of uh, copyright, uh, copyright infringement occurs when someone uh, violates the exclusive rights of a copyright owner without authorization. Uh, this can include uh, reproducing or distributing or publicly performing the copyrighted works without permission. So if you take some examples. If a person uh, copies uh, as well as uh, he distributes, it was there in my, when I was a, a youngster, a college time, uh, CDs were uh, famous, you know, the music were uh, distributed through the CDs. So we will get the CDs, uh, but sometimes uh, we don't know whether the CD is actually supplied by the owner itself or uh, it is copyrighted uh, or copied one. Okay, so that's such many issues were there during that time. So that is one of the example which suddenly came to my mind. So if a person or a, a group of person if they copy a music as a song without obtaining the necessary permission and they are selling it, it, it can be called as the copyright infringement. So the owner if he find, if he can track it and or he can, he can file a case regarding uh, uh, or the the recording company can uh, can go for legal action. So the legal uh, remedies maybe the, the police people has to find out who is doing that. Then the legal remedy will be when it, the damages happened, the lost, the business lost because of the uh, copied one that can be given or anything which is decided by the court, the uh, even uh, it may go to some um, uh, punishment like uh, civil punishment or even uh, criminal penalties can, can also be given uh, like monetary damages or uh, compensation what the copyright owner says or any penalties like a fine or in some severe cases uh, they, it can, can go to even imprisonment also putting in jail. Okay. Transfer of copyright. Transfer of copyright. Uh, it can the copyright can be transferred or uh, it can be assigned uh, to another party, allowing them to exercise the exclusive rights of the original copyright owner. Means if I say an example, if an author, um, uh, say me myself, Dr. Prasad Putila, I have few textbook published, and I have its own my own copyright. Copyright is with me. Uh, what I have to do with the copyright if I am not uh, selling my book. Uh, so I may give uh, the rights, uh, rights. Uh, I will transfer the right to the uh, the company or the publishing publisher who publishing uh, that uh, book. 
then they may uh, now the complete the uh, the uh, the copyright it is transferred to the publishing agency or the publishing company now they uh, yeah, i am allowing them to publish i am allowing them to distribute uh, or sell copies whatever uh, number of copies they can sell and uh, in 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 as an advantage to me they may give me uh, uh, royalties they may give a lump sum amount for uh, transferring that to copyright but i am not done i am just telling the example so that is completely we can transfer our uh, copyright from uh, to someone else if needed for commercial uh, purpose aspects only okay that is about transfer of copyright license a license uh, uh, it is a legal permission which is granted by a copyright owner uh, that allows someone else to use or to distribute or reproduce a copyrighted work in ways that could typically be restricted by copyright law okay so essentially it provides the licensee licensee means the person who is receiving the license uh, with the right to use the copyrighted uh, material under, under under certain conditions uh, which is specified in the agreement the license agreement it has to be specified say uh, if i take an example a photographer a wildlife photographer or a, a stunning photographer uh, his photo is requested by a magazine say some xyz magazine they wanted to use the his photo so they will have mutual uh, uh, consent and um, instead of uh, transferring the complete uh, copyright of that photo the photographer decided to grant license to that uh, xyz magazine okay so they will specify the terms uh, that so that uh, the xyz magazine uh, it can use the photo in the magazine only for some certain purpose beyond certain time frame within that time frame only they have to use that photo so, uh, so this agreement uh, it the photographer having complete control over his work uh, and he is the owner of that work uh, while giving some specific usage rights to the um, to the magazine so that xyz magazine can use it uh, comparison of license and assignment uh, an assignment uh, it, it involves the uh, transferring of ownership of a copyright to another party okay so example if i take it to be clear um, a, a music person or a musician a singer he composed a unique not only singer he composed his own uh, uh, unique piece of music but he he or she is not capable of uh, marketing it so I want to collaborate with a, a music production company say xyz company the company has to release and distribute the music even to record it properly okay so the license uh, the musician decide to retain the ownership if, if it is if it is a license case uh, uh, the uh, the musician he giving license only means he is retaining uh, is the ownership of the music uh, but gives the xyz company to record uh, and distribute and sell it in uh, various platforms so the end result of uh, license is that the owner the musician become the owner of the copyright and the license the music license is given to the other entity simultaneously for mutual benefit whereas if it is assignment case assignment it is assigned to they are assigning the copyright to the xyz company in that case the new owner of the copyright is the company they have the exclusive right to the music and uh, the musician holds no control over and how uh, it is used or distributed they, should, they cannot question thus in the case of license uh, they can question the musician can question the company also uh, uh, they can have some control that is about license and assignment now next license and uh, consent consent uh, consent uh, uh, it is a form of license 
which is essential when others wish to use copyrighted material they have to ask for the consent okay so like uh, like you say that, that the photographer and magazine uh, a photographer uh, having a good photograph photograph uh, that a particular magazine wanted uh, uh, to their particular uh, uh, edition so the magazine the xyz magazine company will uh, ask for the consent in a in a documented way okay so if uh, uh, if the consent is given the company can uh, use the photograph as agreed upon the consent respecting the ownership of the uh, of the owner the uh, original photographer okay so it's similar to that of license only but uh, the consent is a little bit easier uh, sim simple way of approaching just taking consent that i am um, agreeing if uh, the, the uh, like it is not need, need not to be licensed then consent can work now the duration of a license for form and uh, the content the duration and content of a license agreement specify uh, the terms under which the copyrighted work can be used which include the scope of use and the duration and any limitations or conditions uh, i'll take the example of musician only a music person uh, his music uh, that uh, unique his own uh, music uh, unique music given to a, a company or uh, wanted to share with a production company or a studio so the the studio expresses their interest in uh, using uh, the musicians uh, uh, work in the upcoming movies uh, that uh, tune or uh, whatever produced by the musician now the scenario is that uh, the musician and the company the studio company they negotiate a license agreement the result uh, the license agreement outlines the terms which include uh, the scope of the use that uh, whether it can be used as a background score for the movie the scope or the duration duration says that uh, it can be used uh, during the movies uh, so so and so days when it runs it can be used the particular criteria can actually given can be given by the musician that the exclusive for a duration of movies in theatrical run when it runs in the theater or uh, even if it comes in the home media releases uh, otps we call it as otp now okay the limitations uh, and the conditions which we can uh, put on uh, such type of uh, uh, contents are uh, the, it can be used only for that particular uh, movie say, say example it can be used in the movie but not for further publicity or its marketing cannot be used only movie let it be there but don't use it for uh, other uh, short video publicity or such things don't use that like condition can also be kept so that is about uh, the duration of license form and the content of which is given in that now disputes in respect of license disputes over license can arise when there is a disagreement between the licensor and the licensee regarding the terms and conditions of the license agreement okay so license agreement itself uh, you have to mention uh, where uh, which uh, ju uh, jurisdiction uh, the legal action has to be taken place uh, so that particular jurisdiction only the dispute has to be addressed the complaint has to be filed there only so uh, then the regular legal action will take place and uh, both parties will argue at their own so not to avoid that it is better to uh, it is advisable for both the parties who are in, involving in a license agreement to clarify and define if such dispute comes uh, how the uh, the mechanism of uh, dispute resolution can be specified so that uh, unnecessary legal action or uh, complexity can be avoided 
uh, the decision will be very easily one can decide whether it is happening or not or it will not happen if such detailed things are explained in the in detail if it is uh, given in uh, the license agreement then such things will not happen one will not try to do that because already uh, they know that it is there now types of licenses uh, various types of licenses exist including uh, the non exclusive licenses which uh, the exclusive licenses as well as the non exclusive licenses so let us see exclusive and non exclusive licenses exclusive licenses they grant the licensee the exclusive right to use the copyrighted work meaning no one else can use it during the license period non exclusive license allows multiple licensees to use the copyright work simultaneously okay so simple concept now more uh, explanation required for that so understanding these uh, copyrights the aspects of copyrights the laws we in go in depth of the law and all just uh, introduced uh, what are the terms coming to the copyright uh, as well as the license so understanding this aspect uh, uh, including the right of copyright owner the limitations uh, international agreements uh, uh the essential uh, for it it is very essential for uh, the uh, the one who creates such uh, contents uh, or uh, say music or photograph or they are ha having uh, making it to be public uh, and sharing with others then this copyright material legal everything will come so it is very much useful uh, if one understand uh, the needs of uh, the copyright laws and other related contents okay so that's about uh, this particular class video this is about uh, module 4 completed module 4 uh, thank you very much for uh, watching my videos and uh, continuously watching my videos okay those who are uh, watching my videos please don't forget to subscribe because this is not like a normal other videos where uh, people will get more subscription those who are watching please subscribe uh, those are getting benefited from my class videos please do subscribe and support that is a sub only support that i i am expecting from you so uh, my youtube channel name it is my intuition 4865 once again thank you one and all and have a nice day